I've never had a colonoscopy partner. And if you're going to have a colonoscopy partner, is there anybody <laughs> better than Adam Glassman? Not exactly a couple's massage, which <laughs> is something that you would might do with a partner. I didn't know y'all were this close. For the last hour, stop, if, stop, I, Adam, if I stop. sneezed, if I sneezed, something would come up. <laughs> oh, that's Adam Glassman and me. The, Adam is from Oprah Daily, my other job. He's our creative director, also a correspondent for Extra, getting ready for a colonoscopy. So it's part of a new Oprah Daily special. According to the Colon Cancer Coalition, one in three Americans are not up to date on their screenings, and that is a very big deal. Colonoscopies detect colon cancer, the second deadliest cancer, but their survival rate, listen to this, is 90% when detected at an early stage. So Adam and I got the routine procedure and recorded the process with some help from our Dr. John LaPook. Here's an exclusive first look. How do you feel this morning, Adam? I just want to be done, don't you? I just want to do it now, but yeah. things were still coming out this morning. They were? Yeah. Well, I think, I drips think they, and drabs? Yeah, I think they call it anal leakage. Anal leakage. So what's the perfect colon that a person could have? What does that look like? Is there the such a thing? Is, okay, good question. Yeah. Is, is there the, such a thing? The perfect colon is one for me, from my point of view, where um, the prep has been done beautifully uh -huh, so that uh -huh. I can actually look at every millimeter of it and not have it be covered by debris. Um, debris. So that, and then, well, that's what poop. we're calling it yeah. these days, <laughs> debris. I'm nervous just because it's still a medical procedure, but I have faith in my doctor. That's a good start. See ya. Yeah. See you when you're done, Adam, when we're done. Adam, see you on the other side. No, you don't want to say that at all. Dr. John LaBook is our chief medical correspondent and a gastro gastroenterologist. What are you? A gastroenterologist. Okay, yeah. other that's things what too. you are. <laughs> Your but friend. I, but I think it's interesting to do it with a colleague. I've never done that before. But I didn't feel awkward. I was very concerned because Adam was 55 and had never had one before. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to do this. I've had a, a few. Yeah, I've never heard of the buddy system before. Yes. I think it's a really good idea because you do feel a little bit alone, especially if there's no partner in, in the apartment or in the house so where you live. To sort But it's of time to take the it. stigma out of it, John, because really people need to understand how crucial it is to get it and the benefits of getting it. Yeah, and we, we can't emphasize enough when you do this colonoscopy, the, the search is for a polyp. Yeah. These polyps, when you find them, are generally benign. However, they can be the kind of polyp which over time can turn into cancer. And if you take the polyp out at that time, which you can do during the colonoscopy, yeah. instead of potentially getting cancer, you don't get cancer. Hmm. So I know people don't like to do the prep, but it's really, really it's, it, it, People might be listening and thinking to themselves, it can't be that simple, but you are saying yeah. that. It is that exactly. simple. Exactly, they think it, it can't be that simple. But you're right about the stigma. You know, it's yes. one of the first jokes between parents and their, and their kids, right? It's something to have, having to do with pooping or peeing, right? And then for years we can't, we, we don't talk about it. And I, it's I kind love of taboo that, for some reason. It's taboo, but I love that, that you know, you were able to talk about it, get out. Ryan Reynolds did it did it on air, and of course, Katie Couric all those years back, and it's really important to get the, get the word out. And the age, the age. What, where are we now with age? It used to be 50. It used to be 50, and then what we're seeing is now it's down to 45 mm -hmm. uh, if you are at no increased risk, because we were seeing colon cancer affecting people younger at a younger and younger age, and even younger if you have a risk factor for some reason, family history or other things that could increase the risk. Well, you know why people are uncomfortable, because you're talking about your butt. Nobody yeah. wants to visualize your butt and all the stuff involved in that, and I do think we have to get past that, because yeah. you found polyps that day, didn't you? Yeah, well, you were clean, and you did a great job um, Adam, and I just With got written trip. permission from him to, uh -huh. to say this on air, he did have some polyps. Um, uh, one of them, a very small one, was the kind which, if let, was totally benign, if uh -huh. left in, could have potentially over time turned See? into cancer. And I took it out with a yes. snare, and it's out. It's gone. It's, mm -hmm. it's in a jar in a pathology lab, but it will never hurt him again. So mm -hmm. he gave me permission very generously. He, I said, can I tell people I don't want to do it without your permission? He said, anything to help. And I think that's a great attitude. All right. Well, I'm 42. So <laughs> I got some time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, though, now that we have this segment. I'll go with you. We'll do the buddy system. the same buddies. You guys, Forget that the would curtain. actually we'll be kind of hilarious. We'll hold hands. I'm good with it, man. That would actually be no, very good. No ifs, buts about it. <laughs> that uh, would be very good. <laughs> anyway, um, but thank, thank you for, for 
bringing this no. again to the public no, attention because I thank think you. it's yeah, important. It's an important yeah, message. It is important. And when you guys are ready. And, Gail, thank you when, for being transparent. It's yeah. one of those things that people don't do on camera. Exactly right. And when you guys are ready, I have a good doctor to recommend. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Don LaPook, we thank you. You yeah. can watch the full video of our colonoscopy journey. Head to OprahDaily.com. It's actually pretty entertaining.